September is right around the corner, so let's find out what's new to Netflix. Let's start with the most popular titles. For Netflix originals, there's American Vandal Season 2, Bojack Horseman Season 5, Chef's Table Volume 5, Iron Fist Season 2, and Next Gen. As for everything else, there's Black Panther, Bruce Almighty, The Emperor's New Groove, Groundhog Day, Lilo and Stitch, Nacho Libre, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, Spider-Man 3, The Walking Dead Season 8, and A Wrinkle in Time. Now that you know the big names, let's move on to the full list. What you're going to see is a movie or TV show followed by a number. That number is the average ratings from IMDb and both the user and critic reviews from Rotten Tomatoes. If there is a little red marker on the side, that means it's a Netflix original. If you want to see all of the ratings, head on over to spfinfinity.com. But back to business, let's get to that full list. Starting on September 1st, there's 10,000 BC, Another Cinderella Story, Assassins, August Rush, Bruce Almighty, Delirium, Fair Game, Groundhog Day, King Kong, La Catedral del Mar, Martian Child, Monkey Twins, Mr. Sunshine, Nacho Libre, Pearl Harbor, Scarface, Sisters Season 1, Spider-Man 3, Stephanie, Summer Catch, Sydney White, The Ant Bully, The Breakfast Club, The Cider House Rules, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, The Keeping Hours, The River Wild, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning, Two Weeks Notice, and Unforgiven. Moving on to the second, there's Lilo and Stitch, The Emperor's New Groove, Maynard, and Quantico Season 3. On the third, there's A Taiwanese Tale of Two Cities. On the fourth, we're getting Black Panther. As for the fifth, there's Van Helsing Season 2 and Wentworth Season 6. On the sixth, we're getting Once Upon a Time Season 7. On the seventh, there's Atypical Season 2, Cable Girls Season 3, City of Joy, Click, First and Last, Iron Fist Season 2, Next Gen, Sierra Burgess is a Loser, Stretch Armstrong and the Flex Fighters Season 2, and The Most Assassinated Woman in the World. On the 10th, there's Call the Midwife Series 7. As for the 11th, there's Daniel Sloss Live Shows and The Resistance Banker. On the 12th, there's Blacklist Season 5, Life, and On My Skin. On the 14th, there's American Vandal Season 2, Bleach, and that's the live action movie, Boca Jr.'s Confidential, Bojack Horseman Season 5, Car Masters Rust to Riches, Ingobernable Season 2, that was fun to say. Um, and then there's Last Hope, Norm MacDonald has a show, Super Monsters Monster Party, Songs, The Angel, The Dragon Prince Season 1, The Land of Steady Habits, and The World's Most Extraordinary Homes Season 2, Part A. Moving on to the 15th, there's Inside the Freemasons Season 1. On the 16th, we're getting Role Models and Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. On the 17th, there's The Witch. On the 18th, there's American Horror Story, Cult, and D.L. Hughley, Contrarian. On the 21st, there's Battlefish, Dragon Pilot, Hisone and Masotan, Hilda, Maniac Season 1, Napoli Ever After, Quincy, and The Good Cop. On the 23rd, there's The Walking Dead Season 8. The 25th brings A Wrinkle in Time and Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. As for the 26th, there's Norseman Season 2 and The Hurricane Heist. On the 28th, there's Chef's Table Volume 5, El Marginal Season 2, Forest of Piano, Hold the Dark, Jack Whitehall, Travels with My Father, Season 2, Lessons from a School Shooting, Notes from Dunblane, Lost Song, Made in Mexico, Reboot The Guardian Code, Season 2, Skylanders Academy, Season 3, The Third Eye, and Two Catalonias. And lastly, on the 30th, there's Big Miracle. That was everything that's coming to Netflix this month. And that means it's time to rank the best and worst titles. The best rated titles coming to Netflix are Groundhog Day at an 8.8, 
American Vandal has an 8.9, Bojack Horseman also comes in at an 8.9, and the best rated title is a tie between Chef's Table and Unforgiven, which both come in at 9.0. Inversely, the worst rated titles heading our way are The Hurricane Heist, which has a 4.0, A Wrinkle in Time comes in at 3.7, Reboot The Guardian Code has a 3.6, and then there's Summer Catch at 3.3, and last and certainly least is 10,000 BC, which comes in at a lowly 3.2. Alright guys, be sure to leave a comment and let me know what you're planning to watch. With all of that said, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely day.